videos on Vamsi Missions. I hope you've been enjoying my videos so far. Thanks to all my subscribers and viewers for your love and support. If you watched my previous video, you would have already known a bit about the BBC Microbit. It's a handy way to learn programming. If you haven't already watched my previous video, I suggest you watch it to refresh your memory. The microbit can make sounds, play tunes, and it can also amplify the sound using the speaker at the back. Also, the new microbit has a microphone sensor at the back to react to loud and quiet sounds. Today, I'm excited to show you an interesting microbit project to you all. Watch till the end to see the microbit project come to life. Before we get started, I'm so happy to introduce our new participant, Karen, to you all. Today, he'll be showing us how to make the sound emotion badge and on the microbit. I can't wait to watch this with you all. Over to you, Karen. Hello everyone, my name is Karen and I'm going to be doing a microbit project with you guys. So, today I'm going to be doing a sound emotion badge project for the microbit. So, for the microbit project, um, you, well, you'll need the newer version of the microbit to perform this coding because it comes with the speaker, motion sensor and more like an accelerometer and different stuff like that. And um, yes, but if you don't have it, don't worry because microbit, the make code editor has kindly given us a simulator to make things more realistic. So, before we get started, I'd like to thank Mamsie and family for letting me do this microbit project on the on his channel. So, thank you very much, Ramsey. Let's get right onto this. So, the function that we'll be using on the microbit is the two buttons that they've given: button A, button B, the logo, and the shake function. And the logo um, and the sound will only be available if you get the new version of the microbit. But the logo won't function if you have the old version. But like I said, you can always use the simulator. So, everything needs coding. So, I'm going to be showing you the coding behind the button A. So, for this button A, this purple brick, I just go here. Then I go on, to but on button A pressed. Um, that that brick, and then I can change it all I want, and then I can just put it here, and then I can, if I want to code button B, I can just press that, and if I, if I want to code both at the same time, I can also press that. Just delete, get rid of this. So, um, the coding inside that is also pretty specific. So, I'm going to be um, uh, get using a icon that the that the microbit website has given us. So I just go on basic and go and show icon, and then I get a variety of the menu of icons that um, that microbit has given us. So we've got happy, you've got hearts, words like animals, like loads of stuff that I can't name. We've got many shapes, we've got loads of LEDs that we can perform on the five by five LED grid. So yes, it's like that. And then um, for the music, I go on music tab. Then I go down, down, down. And yes, you'll need the microbit version two to perform these stuff. Um, and then I just uh, play sound, giggle. That's what they've given us mainly. But we can also do happy, hello, mysterious, sad, slide, soaring, spring, twinkle, yawn, stuff like that. Same same thing has been performed here. Like I told you, I, I, I'm going to be coding behind the button B. So I just changed it to button B. And then I just changed the LED design to a sad face because I'm doing sad music. Uh, it's a bit different on this one because I'm going to be doing the logo. So I'm going to be doing the coding behind the logo. For that, it's the same section. Go into input, then go down. Again, you'll need the microbit version 2 for this. On logo. Um, uh, uh, you get this one, and then inside it is the same, uh, same things that we have used here, but just a different face for surprised. So I've been using a surprised face here, like so. And then I'm going to be doing the sound function right here, uh, um, sound function, um, and I'm going to be doing a spring for that. And then on shake, it is the, it is more different. Um, I go here. It is the. Um, I, it's in the same section as all the other purple bricks. I go on shake, um, and then um, we get show LEDs. So for the show LEDs, um, for the show LEDs, I just go into basic, and then I get this. So I'll just show you a piece of code. I'll just go 
a, a, va a K for Ramsey. Sorry, a V for Ramsey. <laughs> Sorry, because uh, you look at this. Okay, so that's basically it. And I've drawn a m and I've created a, m uh, a, a magnifying glass on the fiber by fiber grid for my micro bit when I shake it. And also, uh, I'm putting mysterious background. So now let's t um, uh, test this all out. Before I get started, this shake button is only for the simulator. This won't be included in the real micro bit because it comes with the motion sensor, which you just have to shake. But this is just for the micro bit. But they've done something more realistic, which is basically you can just shake it to make the music as well. But let's get started with button A. So let's press button A first. That was the happy music. Let's play that once more. That was happy music. And then let's go into button B. That was the sad music. And um, the sad face and the ha button A had the uh, happy music and the happy face like so. That was the happy face that came. And then I'm gonna do the sad face once, once more for you guys to hear. Now I'm gonna press the logo, but on the simulator, um, you, have to have, you have to press it really perfectly. That was the spring music. Let's hear that once more. That was my surprised face that came t for twice and the spring music which also came. Now let's shake it first for our uh, mysterious sound. So yes, um, I just shook it and then um, my mysterious noise came, but it's going to be the same thing if I click it here. Yep, it's the same thing that's happened. So, um, yes, um, so um, before, before I end this, I'm just going to show you guys if it's real, if it will work or not. I've just created another dot inside the magnifying glass, so it's fully covered, and I'm going to show you now. See, for, for see, guys, it actually happened. So I'm just gonna make it back to normal, and it's gonna reset. Yes, and then we've got our micro bit back. Thank you very much, um, Ramsey, for letting me do this micro bit project on your channel. Um, have a great day, everyone. Bye, and it's me, Karen, signing out. Well done Karen, it's so cool to see how your micro bit can display emotions through sound and picture. Today I learned how to add sound to the micro bit project. I really appreciate your great interest and enthusiasm throughout the video. I'd love to see more from you in the future. Thank you for your amazing participation Karen. Now I'm going to download and test the sound emotion badge on my micro bit. Are you ready to see? Here you go. Now I'm going to press all the buttons and see what happens. First I'm going to press the A button and what should appear is a smiley face with happy music. Now when I press the B button there should be an unhappy face with sad music. Then when I press the micro bit logo there should be a shocked face with shock music. And finally, when I shake it, there should be a magnifying glass with mysterious music. We can clearly hear the sound because of the built-in speaker at the back right here. It's always so much fun to code and play with the micro bit. There are two more projects based on sound, a sound meter which checks how noisy it is around you and a metronome which gives a constant beat to practice your music. I'll leave a link in the description box down below for your reference. Now it's your time to try it out and comment out how it turned out. I refer to the microbit.org's project's Make It Code It webpage to make this video. My special thanks to Cam for putting a lot of effort in doing the project and sharing it with us today. Also, 
Also, I particularly want to mention that Karen has an amazing channel called Karen's World, which I will leave a link to in the description box down below. I recommend you to check his channel out. Like Karen, if you want to participate in my future STEM episodes, please send an email to stem at advancedmissions.co.uk or reply to your emails as soon as possible with the next steps on how to get involved. Also visit the Advanced Solutions website at https colon double slash www.advancedmissions.co.uk to know more details. All the information is listed on there. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to Advanced Solutions to show your support. And on that note, I'm signing off for today. I'll see you all in another STEM episode next week. Have a great weekend everyone. Take care. Bye.